All right, what's up, guys? It's another beautiful day. All right, so we dropped off our boat on the... My boat? I dropped off my boat on the 4th of July. It's Monday. Ruben told me if I would have called him, he would have given my engine the same day, but no. Me, I'm, I'm that guy. Yeah, I'm just going to pop up on you. You know, like my customers do me, and then when I'm like, sorry, bro, I'm not there. But... They get all bent out of shape and butthurt at me. I'm just like, okay, it is what it is. Nothing I can do. All right, so let's go south. Enough jibber-jabber. Let's go south. I still have work to do on the boat. I have lights I need to install. Just small, minor things, you know. But we can at least get the boat back on the water. Everything works that needs to work for the boat to run. So I still got to install a fuel gauge. I need an RPM gauge and some lights. But the legality wise, like the running lights are there, the pumps work, the air pumps work. I even installed an extra second air pump. Um, maybe I'll run both of them, one for the front. Well, I, I don't know, that's a lot of juice on, on the batteries. I got big batteries, but whatever, it is what it is. So we're on our way south. And there we go, 95 South. Next stop, basically Homestead, dude. Homestead. It's about a 25 mile drive. And here goes the first joy of Miami traffic. I don't know if you guys know about this, about, I don't know if you guys know this about me or not, but I freaking hate driving. I hate it. I hate it. I, I hate it. When I was younger, early 20s, yo, drive all day. Drive for days. Now that I'm older, yo, screw that. If it's like more than five miles from the house, I'm like, yeah, I don't need it. Screw it. It's a, it's a special event. All right. Let's keep driving. But I will say, the view from up here, it's not that bad. That's a little Havana over there, bud. All right. Miami Airport, guys. Whoop. Miami Airport. I think it's just as big as the Jersey Airport. Honestly. It's it's pretty damn huge. It, it's, it's really, really back to driving still going south that's where santa's enchanted forest used to be to the right all right here we go boys we're turning in this is where reliable marines look at that beautiful beautiful oh oh my goodness Yo, she needs a good bath. Uh, no, no, but she needs a bath. She needs a bath very badly. She's rough. She's rough. I can't wait to take her home and wash her. All right, guys, so I was just told this is mine. I don't even know how to behave. All right, so. Not gonna be the best. You guys see that inside? This is thanks to you guys. You guys helped me so, so much. This is gonna be the greatest video. I came down here without a tripod. This isn't gonna be the best. All right, hang tight. Just got to do the unboxing on my own beautiful engine. Feels, I, I got goosebumps. It feels like such a beautiful Christmas. Now I just have to wait for him to hang it so I can get up out of here.
so nervous. And I've been needing some big sheets of fly, uh, cardboard. So I'm, I'm taking that. I'm taking that. I'm freaking excited. I haven't been clean on the water. No games, no drama, no nothing for a minute. And I'm about to be again. I am hyped. Doing. He's hooking up the, the eyelids so he can hook up chains to lift it. Oh. He can hook up chains to lift it and put it on the back of my boat. Kind of like I do, but this is more legitimate. <laughs> oh man. Hey, I got goosebumps. Oh, I'm, I'm a little giddy. Oh. Well, I wish if I would have brought a tripod. You see this one bolt? Years and years and years of, of saltwater abuse. Moving Yeah, bro. We're beating on it together. Give it some heat. See, trying to get this out. I wish if I could show you guys what I'm doing while I'm doing it, but I'm a shitty YouTuber. No tripod. The other boats came out easy, but there's always that one, you know? There's always that one. That one bolt. We finally got it loose. And we beat the shit out of it, so now we have to cut that thing out. Dude, this guy hasn't even built a sweat. I want you to know Ruben's got some really hardworking people down here. Me, I'm leaking. This guy, like it's December, hasn't even broken a sweat. What's going on my own? I bet you she falls right out now. Here we go, guys. It is going on the boat now. He's lining it up. I don't know. No. Feels a little high. No, I think it's a little high. We'll find out. Still got a lot of work to do. I gotta hook up all the wiring and stuff like that. We're good. Hey right, guys, it's been a lot of work, and I want to send a huge shout out to Reliable Marine. Thank you guys for being so great. Um, if you guys are looking to repower, yo, come on down to Reliable. Bro. Great guys, hardworking. No fuss, no muss. You know what I'm saying? I'll definitely be back for a couple more. Hey, John SS, this next part's for you. Well, it's for you and OBR. I'll never deal with them again. Hey, all engines come with oil, right? All engines come with yeah. oil, right? Yeah. There's no reason I should have to check the oil after you install it, right? No. Because all engines come with oil. All right, guys. We got the boat behind us. I am heading back to North Miami. I want you guys to know I'm a little bit of an asshole because... I forgot some things that I should have got at home, like the, um, I'm taking it, like the spacers for the steering. I could have done all this stuff here, but no, I was overly excited and I forgot it. So back to the yard we go. Are you guys excited? North, perfect. All right, so I got done at what's up? I'm reliable. Esteban, guys. Um, you know, I'm here trying to put this thing together and finish it up and me and Esteban just got the shifter cables in. I'm probably not doing it right, but I'm doing it. So 
you know? I mean, look, I probably should have paid the guys that are reliable to do this for me, but I'm poor, dude. And since I'm poor, that means I do everything the hard way. <laughs> All right, so we have to hook up. Whoop. I can say I brought you the energy. So we gotta hook up the wire harness. All right, guys, it's finally in the water. I was gonna record me launching it, but blame Michelle. It's always her fault. She called me. She's actually in my ear right now as I'm recording this. Whoop. All right, so this is gonna be the first time starting this brand new engine. I primed it when I was at the house. We're gonna tilt it down. My tilt up button doesn't work. Still need a lot of work. Okay, slowly but surely, Rome wasn't built in a day. All right, you ready? First time. Oh. Look at that. That is the first time this brand new Suzuki has been run, baby. Look at her pee. Oh, like a racehorse, like Michelle in the middle of the night. I'm going to go park the truck. I'm going to take this thing home. Park it at home, wash it, clean up all the tools and all the crap that I have all over it. Just be easier to do it at the house because this way I can walk everything right in. Well, I'm going to get naked and phone bone the hell out of Michelle, but spit in my mouth. But all right, so stay tuned. We're going to ride home together. I'm here walking up to the boat and I'm looking and I'm like, damn, whoever did the water lines on that boat was a good job. And Michelle's like, that was you. And I was like, yeah, I know. Yeah. All right, so I want you guys to know I have no clicking. Going forward, going reverse. I did a very good job at shifting the cables and installing all that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right, I installed all that. Yeah. I don't know if you guys got to see it during the video, but I did it. All right, let's go home. Right.